What's up, bud? Wait. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is a response video to uh, Mr. Tony Lee, aka Tainted Lord 87. Super wicked dude. Uh, I gotta apologize, Tony. Um, I missed a whole bunch of your videos lately because I didn't. No notifications. And they didn't pop up on my feed, so. But uh, luckily I know about them now. So I will be checking them out. Anyway, Tony came up with uh, a thread video called uh, Numbskull. I think that's what it was called, Numbskull. Something like that. I believe that's it anyway. Uh, the gist of it shows six albums with skulls on the cover. And I thought, sweet. Couple, two actually popped into my head immediately when I heard that. And uh, I'm going to say those for the last. Oh, not the last. We'll make it almost the last. Um, so anyway, first up, a band called Soul Devour. These guys are from Singapore. They formed in 2006. Um, the album's called Apocalyptic Anti-Human Annihilation. This one came out in 2010. Uh, they are from Singapore. I think I might have said that already. Um, it's just uh, really, really good death metal. It's got a real old school feel to it. Yeah, really good stuff. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this is their only album. Their only full length album anyway. I saw they had an EP, but... Um, track 9. Morbid Angel cover. They do it really well. So these are a uh, good album, Soul Devour. Uh, up next... Nervosa, Victim of Yourself. Uh, if you don't know these uh, girls, uh, which I'm sure you all do, but if you don't, you got to really check them out. They are brutally amazing. Uh, they have a video off this album for the song Into Mosh Pit. It's just, it'll shred the flesh right off your face. That's exactly what it'll do. It's just so good. They got a new one out now. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I don't know it yet, but hopefully soon I can find it and order it. It's a guarantee you can't buy it here. But I digress. <laughs> Rage. Reflection of a Shadow. Uh, this is a German band uh, back in the early days. So just straight up heavy metal. A little bit of speed influence to them possibly, but just straight up metal killer German stuff. Uh, this one came out in 1990. This is the O2 reissue. Really, really good. Can't go wrong with P.V. Wagner. Mastermind of this band. They're the sole original member, so it's P.V.'s band, right? Uh, I think I got six or seven of their albums. They got a shit ton of albums. I don't know how many. They'd be probably close to 20, if I had to guess. And I've not heard a bad one. I'd say I only had like six, possibly seven of them. But uh, yeah, if you don't know Rage, check them out. Say, uh, oh, what's the latest ones I have? I think Unity and Sound Chaser. They were like probably early thousands. Five, maybe 2005, six, something like that. I can't remember for sure, but they're more power metal-y, but still. Wicked German metal. Now this is the first album right here that popped into my mind uh, when it was Skulls for the cover. Another German band, Running Wild. Pile of Skulls. Uh, you don't get any more Skulls than that. The uh, only bad part is this is a shitty uh, Russian edition. Still those Russian ones where they were doing all this two-on-one shit, which I hate. But at the time, this was the only version I could find of it. So, hopefully one day I'll get a proper one. But, 
You know, the quality on it's really good. So, it's a wicked album. Pile of Skulls is. Uh, Sinister Eyes. Mm, might be my favorite, maybe. Letter Gold. You can't go wrong with that tune, right? And White Buffalo. Brutal, wicked. Uh, these guys actually, I don't know, you probably don't know this, or maybe you do. But Running Wild was my favorite band at one time. Like in the 80. 87, 86, 87 era, somewhere around there. And then I discovered Creator. And it's kind of all over from there. So, and this is the other one that popped in my head immediately. The Skulls, this is like the ultimate Skull cover. You can't get a better Skull cover than this. And it's another German band. I love German metal. Uh, this band is called Destruction, the Antichrist. I mean, you don't get a better skull than that. That is just insane. And I've said it many times. I actually got to see them on this tour. Uh, they had these shirts at the show, but all they had left was like 2XL or something. So, so you know, no good. <laughs> anyway. Destruction, Antichrist. I'm sure everybody has heard this. If you did never heard this, blasphemy, shame on you. <laughs> anyway, um, playing here in the background. This would be the last one for this. The band is called Legion of the Dam. Son of the Jackal. Now, down here, there's like three skulls here somewhere, I think. Are the three over here in this area? and a wicked ass jackal. Um, so if you don't know who these guys are, if you've never heard them, do yourself a favor and look this shit up. It is insane. It'll break your neck, rip the flesh off your face, devour your soul, soul devour, huh? Um, it's just intense stuff. Wicked, wicked stuff. Um, I believe yeah, I'm pretty sure they got a video for the song Son of the Jackal. Um, trying to blank on the album before this. Rapture. Rapture? Something Rapture? I can't remember now. But they got a song on there and a video called uh, Werewolf Corpse. That was actually the first song I ever heard by them and it just blew my mind. Werewolf Corpse. It's <laughs> just crazy. So anyway. That's it, Tony. That's my six. Um, cool, cool idea, man. I enjoyed picking these out. There's a few here that I hadn't played in a while, like the Rage and the Nervosa and the Soul Devour. It actually, I totally forgot about these guys, actually. And I was going through my rack and I saw that and I was like, oh, I don't remember these guys. I pulled it out and I was like, oh, there's some cool spells. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's it. Have a good one and uh, I'll see you later.